Hey guys, it's William here from Junie Lion Williams Adventures, coming back to you from the USA. And I had a subject I wanted to talk about, and that's what is a successful LDR? A lot of guys, a lot of people, a lot of men and a lot of women are in East, West, long distance relationships. What is a long distance relationship? It's someone that you're talking to via social media that you're interested in for either relationship, marriage, or maybe you're just looking to have a steady girlfriend or boyfriend or male friend or a female friend, whatever the case may be. So guys, let's talk about it for a few minutes. What is a successful LDR? The reason that I brought this subject up today, guys, is because I've been married to my wife, Junie Lai, here at Junie Lai and Williams Adventures for almost a year now. We've been together for five years. We were engaged for a year. We were in a couple that were dating for three years. I went back and forth to the Philippines three different times since 2019. Some of you got that are our followers, you know some of our story. Uh, we met on Christian Filipina. We used a couple other dating sites, but those ones were not as good as Christian Filipina to us. That's the one that we met on. But what I wanna say about LDRs is that they're not easy. They're not easy. A lot of people get into them and it's a spur of the moment thing. Uh, maybe you're in the West, you're in the US, you're in Canada or Europe, and you're an older man, you're over 60, and you're lonely, you're widowed, um, you have an empty nest. Could be a lot of uh, reasons why you're seeking out an LDR, especially, and we're talking about, for all intents and purposes, in the Philippines. What does it take to be successful? Well, number one, you have to choose the right mate from the beginning. If you make a bad choice, it's like building a house. If you don't put a lot of time and effort into getting the foundation right, no matter what the house looks like, it's not going to stand because the foundation's wrong. So in your looking and searching on one of the dating services, um, you have to make the right choice from the beginning. And that means you're going to go through quite a few men or women, whatever the case may be, before you get to the one that you strike up a really serious conversation with. So let's just talk about two or three points for the sake of time. What would make a successful LDR? And the reason that I bring this up, because I'm in one now as I'm here in the U.S. taking care of some health issues and uh, financial issues before I return to the Philippines. So I thought it'd be a good time to relate to all those that are in LDRs. Um, number one, it's very difficult. It's difficult to be away from someone that you have invested your emotions, your time, and your money, and your energy in. It's just difficult, guys. Um, as you know here at Junie Lyon Williams Adventures, we always suggest that you do not send money to someone you have not met in person. Unless it's your, your fiance that you've met two or three times, unless it's your spouse and you're in the US or you're somewhere working and you're sending money back to continue supporting a place that you already have established in the Philippines, it's not a good idea to send money. I don't need to go through the horror stories. You know them, you've seen them on YouTube about scammers, about how people gave away their life savings to people that they never met and they were lonely and a beautiful woman sat on the other side of a phone or a tablet or a laptop and you gave all your money, if not all, a lot of money to someone that you never met, maybe had no intention of meeting. Maybe it was a, a equal opportunity. Maybe all you were looking for was someone to talk to. I don't know but it's not a good idea to send money to someone that you've never met in person. And so that's the number one rule. Number two, communication, communication, communication. 
Guys, listen. If you're the one that's always initiating the contact, if you're the one that's always calling and she seems to always be busy, she's always busy, but she has time to ask you for money, but she never has time to talk too long. She's always busy. She has to do something. That's a red flag. Normally, when I first met Junie Lai, when we talked, she couldn't wait for me to, to call. She was calling all the time. We talked to each other all the time. We text each other all the time. And we made time for each other. And that, that goes for anyone that you're in the LDR with. If they don't have time for you to communicate, then that's the wrong person. It won't be successful. And it's not real, guys. Because if you're in a real LDR, and I'm talking Filipinas, most of them are going to want to contact you every day, every hour. They want to, they want to know everything. They want to know what you're doing. Because remember, if you don't communicate, you don't know what's going on. It's not really a relationship unless there's daily communication. Also, remember, there's a 12, 13, depending on where you're at, hour difference in the times. So you will have to make time, find that in between time that you could talk. Usually when I talk with Junie Lai, we talk early in my morning, which means it's evening to her. Or we'll talk early in her morning, which means it's Evie evening to me. Remember the time difference, guys. So if it's not serious, if it's not serious communication and an effort to communication, it's not going to be successful. And guys, you cannot build a foundation of money. If your relationship is built on you sending money, that's not a relationship. That's not reciprocal. Unless that's all you're wanting to get. And we're not talking about relationships where she show you something. Not talking about that. We're talking about serious, successful relationships. Number three, and I'll stop at number three for the sake of time on this video, guys. Unless you're planning to go to Philippines within, I would say, a one to six month period, there's no point in starting an LDR. You don't need to have an LDR unless you're going to go meet that person you've been talking to for a month to six months in that time frame. Because remember, most of the time a Filipino is thinking you're not really going to come. Remember how far it is from the, the West to get to the Philippines. It's everybody that's talking online. Only a small percentage of the guys talking to women in the Philippines are going to actually go to the Philippines. It's a long flight. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of planning. And if you're really not serious about going, you're not going to go. So that's not really a successful relationship unless your plan was just to be have a pen pal, someone to talk to because you're lonely in your older age. So guys, whether you're young, whether you're female or male, this, the same rules go for a female. We have a lot of females that watch our channel. And ladies, if you're in an LDR, don't send money to someone you don't know or you've never met in person. You're just getting to know them. So remember that. Don't send money to someone you've never met in person at least once or twice. Do not re remember you have to communicate. That's number two. That should be, that could be number one. Communication, communication, communication. And don't take a long time before, once you meet that person that you're both interested in each other, plan your trip to the Philippines. Because remember, God, they can't come over here to the U.S. or Canada. The visa process is just too long and it's too hard. But you can go and go to meet them visa upon arrival. All it takes is you to have a passport with at least six months on it for you to go to the Philippines. So it's going to have to be you that takes the time off work if you're still working, plans the trip, plans everything, and goes to your Filipina. That's the way it is, guys. So this is William here at Junie Lion Williams Adventures. Remember, and I know a lot of you, you guys, you gentlemen, are in LDRs. A lot of people say, why do you guys keep talking about LDRs? Because people are in LDRs. It's hard to meet a Filipina that's 8,500 miles on the other side of the world unless you're going to go meet her in person, which is a, a, a good option. So that's what we wanted to talk about. Remember, guys, comments, tell us what you think. 
What makes it successful? LDR. Got to communicate. It can't be all about money. And you need to go over there sooner than later. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and we at Juni Lai and Williams Adventures appreciate you. Hopefully me and Juni Lai will be getting back together with some lives. We've had communication issues with our phones as far as the, uh, the lives go. But she's going to be doing her videos from the Philippines and I'm going to be doing my videos from here. And hopefully we'll definitely when we get back together over there, we'll be doing them live together. Thank you to our supporters, our subscribers. We appreciate you. And we'll see you next time at Juni Lion Williams Adventures. Remember, enjoy every day because tomorrow is surely not promised, guys. See you next time.